Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you three free article outline generators that you can use to help you plan your next course, your next article, your next video. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and let's get started. So the very first outline generator is one of my favorites. It's used to basically it's a, you know, click, like type and click type of um, setup where you just enter your headline. Okay. So in this case, uh, I'm going to type in hmm, how to lose weight. Okay. And then the concept is how to lose weight without <laughs> exercise. All right, that's my that's my brief concept. And that that's pretty much. Well, let me add a bit, little bit more. Hold on. For men. Over forty. There we go. Okay. And what's wrong with this? Let's see. Ah. Uh, Okay, so I guess your, your headline has to be over 35 characters. I forgot to add that in. And this concept has to be, let's see, is it, I think this is good enough. Let's try it out. Okay, so it uses AI to generate the outline, which I really like. And when you sign up, you get 50 credits. All right. And then here are the results. Uh, a diet rich in carbohydrates and low in fat. Eat six uh, small meals throughout the day. Cut your carbohydrate intake. Exercise. Avoid sugar and junk food. Throw sugar away. Replace some carbs with protein-rich food. Fill up on water, not soda. All right. And then you have another one. Why lose weight? Uh, where to begin? Know your triggers. Keep active. Stop making excuses. Implement diet and exercise regimes. Eating frequency and quality. Um, set gain limits so it's it's a pretty good it's it's a pretty good outline and it gives you three variations right so you can pick the first one the second one or the third one so this one is an AI this one is is an AI generator an outline generator so it, it gives you the ideas for you now the other ones I'm going to show you help you to organize your own ideas so if you have your own ideas but you just want a better way to organize them then these other article outline generators are probably more of what you're looking for, but this one's this one's uh, the one I like because it's it's easy and it, you know I'm kind of lazy, so it gives me a whole bunch of different outlines to choose. All right, but let me show you the other ones too. I also use the other ones as well. So the next article outline generator I'm going to show you is called GitMine. I think I pronounced it right, and basically it allows you to organize your thoughts in several different ways. You can use um, you can use it for a story. You can use it for project management processes right here. All right, let me just show you what it looks like. All right, so it's, it's nicely organized. This is what you know people typically use when or think about when it comes to organizing a process or some kind of business. So that's uh, that's one one of them. And then you can also use mind mapping. All right, so there's a whole different bunch of different um, ways you can organize your idea and this is this is what it looks like you just click on new um, mind map and then you click on this and you want once you sign in you can go ahead and and add more more nodes okay so you can go ahead and play around with it but it's it's good for basically mind map type outlines. All right, so I just want to be very clear on that. And this is for you to you know organize your notes, organize your your video processes, whatever you choose. But the present the thing I like about this one is the presentation looks a lot nicer than you know the other ones. Okay, the next one that I'm going to show you is called Notion, and this one's great for coming up with ideas and organizing them. Now, let me show you what I used before this. I used an Excel sheet. 
And the problem with using an Excel sheet when it comes down to creating your, your outline is that you can't rearrange your outline easily, right? If you had, to, if you, you know, put this in the third place and you want to now move it to the second one, you have to, you know, cut, paste, and then paste it here, and then cut this one out here and paste it here. And it's a, it's a pain in the neck. But with Notion, it allows you to just throw down all your ideas. And then from here, you can just move them and arrange them however you like. Right? So that this is the first one. You go to the second one. This is the third one. All right. So that's what I like about Notion. And it's also completely free. There's, you know, at least from my end, I haven't seen, um, I've haven't, I haven't had the push to like upgrade to a paid version. The the free version works perfectly fine for what I'm looking for, and it it, it works well. Plus, it had it has an app that's you know very very functional. Um, so what I like to use this article outline generator for is on the fly when I'm organizing a whole bunch of notes and I just do a data dump I just throw all my ideas down and then I have the app on my phone so I can also record any ideas that come to my head and then from there if I want to rearrange it or if I have a, a few minutes throughout the day I can go ahead and add, add more notes to it so let's say uh, you know this is one of the notes and let's say I just want to add, add more of an outline to this one. I can go ahead and and type in, you know, uh, more, you know, more more notes, more organization type of type of thing. So I, I can go ahead and expand upon this, and it's all nice and neatly tucked away. So there's not things hanging out all over the place. You can just rearrange your main main points and then go deeper and go ahead and add your own notes if. That's what you like. So uh, Notion is very flexible, and the, the app is, is amazing for those who want, who want to create an outline on the fly and who just want to kind of rearrange things without having to worry about uh, cutting, and cutting, pasting, and, and having things fixed in one spot. So Notion is, is, is the one I, I go to. As you can see, I, I use it often, along with the next one that I'm about to go into. So the next one is called Workflowy, right? And it is, it's more like the traditional type of outline that you think of. When you create an outline, you have your point, uh, let's see, main point one. And then if you want a, a sub point into that, you just, let me see. You type whatever you, um, you know, you like, let's say, so point one, and then you can go ahead and let me see, collapse, duplicate, mirror, not bullets. It was, let's see, hold on one second. Now you can add bullets to it as well, but you can. This is this is more of what you think about when it comes down to a traditional. Um, outline. You can also delete. Let me see. Let me delete this one. But if you want to add another point to this, you just click on it, and you go ahead and add a sub point into here. Right. Okay, and and you can do it so on and so forth. All right. You go out. So same with this. All right. This is uh, top ten most like widely spoken languages in the world. This, this is this has been a while. I'm not even sure this is accurate, but you can go into here and you can also add uh, the reason, uh, reason one, all right? And you can go out. So this is similar to Notion, okay? And that you can create articles, all right? And then you can go ahead and and, and add uh, sub points to it, but it's not as flexible. Let me see if I can drag and drop. Let's see if they, no. No, it's not as easy to kind of drag and drop. Let me let me see if they let me do that. Yeah. Okay. So you can't you can't move the the positions of what, whatever you type once you type it in. I mean, you can, but it's going to be kind of a pain in the neck, right? Unlike Notion, where you can move things flexibly. But this is this might be more 
for those who need like a rigid structure. Um, I used this before I used Notion. And then once I found Notion, I, I, I used that one. But some people still prefer the old school way. Right? And this is as close to the old school method as, as you can other than Word. <laughs> All right, but I, I find this one uh, much more minimalistic and it, it allows me to focus a lot better. Right? And the sec uh, the probably the first choice would be Notion. Right? So out of all these article outline generators, my first choice would be Ink. Probably tied or Ink, Ink, and Notion. And then second place would be Workflowy. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. Also, before I close out the video, I just want to mention that I have a new YouTube course that shows you how to grow your small channel using the power of AI. So if you're in interested in that, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description below. Also, if you like this video, could you please hit the like button as it would greatly uh, boost this video and help this channel out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.